On November 21st, we as a nation will come together to recognize and celebrate National Adoption Day to raise awareness of the 129,000 children in foster care waiting to find permanent homes and loving families. You know, it should seem obvious that while we fight for the freedom of people around the world, we would make protecting the lives of those here at home our first priority. For the last nine years, National Adoption Day has made the dreams of thousands of children come true as courts, judges, attorneys, adoption professionals, child welfare agencies, and advocates work to finalize adoptions and find permanent loving homes for children in foster care. As a member of the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute's Advisory Board and a former foster mother to 23 teens myself, I know how tough the process can be, and I've tried to bring my experiences with me to my work here in Congress. And I was especially proud that last year, the House passed my bipartisan resolution to honor and celebrate America's foster families and the people who guide and assist these families. I'll continue to work hard to pass my bipartisan legislation to give foster children stability in their schools. The School Choice for Foster Kids Act. These kids go through so much turmoil, they're bounced from one home to another. If we can give them some stability by letting them stay in a school with friends and teachers they know and trust, even when they move to a new foster home, shouldn't we do that? My legislation would do exactly that. And on this day, but really every day, thank a foster mom and dad for the great sacrifices they make for the well-being of so many precious children. With each step they take to help with adopted and foster children, they inspire others to take similar steps. And I can think of no better gift for a child than a loving mom and dad. So I thank you for your compassion and your kindness, and I thank you so much for listening.